So in this video, I'm going to share um, a little overview about making the most of LinkedIn. So what does LinkedIn actually mean to you? Do you see it as a vast network with infinite opportunity? Or is it the place where you see CVs and resumes go to die? Well, if it's the latter, I personally would suggest that you're missing a massive trick because I'm ranked in the top 1% of users uh, on LinkedIn in the world of digital marketing globally. And I have seen the powerful effects that an active and engaged profile can have on your personal brand or business. So despite being professionals, I'd hazard a guess that not many of us spend much time thinking about our actual LinkedIn profiles. They're often something that people keep because they feel they have to rather than because they see the real value in them. And the truth is, is it offers a wealth of opportunity. You know, engaging on platforms regularly can have significant positive impact on your career. And there was an article in uh, Adweek um, probably a couple of years ago now reported that 87% of recruit recruiters actually turn to LinkedIn to find new talent. And I still find that, you know, it would be true now. If you're looking for a job or you're looking, um, you know, for a new role, even working with a business as a supplier, you know, I would always check people out on LinkedIn. So the platform has pretty much something of a sort of a renaissance in recent years, um, where once it was maybe a, a place where I suppose you'd see it is just connecting with maybe professional peers. It's now evolved. It's become a social media outlet, outlet in its own right. So, you know, if you think about stats like two new members join the platform each second, and the platform has grown from 467 million users in the third quarter of 2016 to now to almost 600 million, right? So even the entrepreneur, some of you may have heard of the uh, Gary Vernachuk. He's a, a huge, huge uh, influencer in the world of digital and social media. And he recently said he was obsessed with it um, because of the fact that it provides this amazing organic reach. It's the only network nowadays that you don't actually have to be um, paying for advertising to, to reach people. You know, and this is really why it's one of my, my top social networks, because, you know, we, we've got to a point where we're generating 80% of our business through LinkedIn. We've introduced tactics just by using LinkedIn, whereby we've got our engagement and lead generation up by 373%, which is just unreal. So for me, it's a, it's a hugely powerful and very um, central uh, platform to our digital and social media strat strategy. But it's, it's one of the best untapped resources for content and connections online. So, you know, honestly, if there was ever a time to get back on your profile, dust it off and give it a spring clean, this would be it, you know. So, I've been making the most of this platform for years. Now, obviously, LinkedIn has been around since like 2002. And I now rank consistently as the global number one um, for my profile, for my industry, right? So for me, that's driving reach each and every day through profile views, search appearances. And the thing is, is like we're all looking to stand out from the crowd. So Having launched my business, Business Consort, at the ripe old age of 21 with £5,000 Princess Stress loan, you know, we've evolved and these tools have helped massively. So, you know, we've trained about 25,000, you know, professionals who we've trained and certified in the world of digital and, you know, gaining subscribers of 5 million across network and email is pretty outstanding. But the reason I tell you this is that it means there's no monopoly online. So, you know, when you look at LinkedIn, you know, you're scrolling through the navigation, you're looking at sort of, you know, how this all works. You're thinking, well, you know, you've got your news feed, my network, my jobs, my messaging notification. It's not overly clear how to use this. Now, one of the things that I've done is um, I'm an author. I've got a, a book, Dynamic Digital Marketing. The reason that um, I suppose that I decided to jump into those realms was that, you know, the strategies that we're using as a business about growing followers, marketing our business, but ultimately we're all trying to increase revenue, you know, was because the um, social networks and social media has obviously come from being a free tool. And now people are taking it more seriously because it's obviously, you know, more and more people are doing it, but are they just using social media because everyone else does? 
you know, 50% of businesses still don't have a social media strategy. So, you know, when you go on to LinkedIn, you could get lost for an hour and really not be utilizing it or having any actual impact on your business. You know, you can go and connect with a few people. You could go to your homepage, you could search for content and you could interact. But there needs to be a structure, as with anything in business. Social media has often fallen to the junior members of the team, which, you know, is fine if they are trained and not just self-taught. And, you know, we're seeing more of the investment in training in social media now. But, you know, LinkedIn, I can't tell you how important this is as a network in terms of this free organic reach. For me as a business, you know, I can only share with you what it's, what it's done for us. And to have such a level of, you know, qualified leads coming in, if we didn't have LinkedIn, this would be a massive, massive gap that you know we would sorely miss. So learning to use LinkedIn effectively is the key to building a robust, a robust network for me. Um, that because you know if you've got a robust network, that's going to bring consistent revenue. So I say uh, uh, I stay in the top one uh, percent by being a social networker and proactively growing my network, contributing meaningfully to conversations and also interacting with others as well as just posting content that I feel adds value. Now, I focus on building rapport and relationships and becoming a thought leader in my industry rather than just simply trying to sell. You know, social selling is a very powerful tool. And this is what has helped me build my network. So for many, there's still something rather off-putting about the concept of selling one's own brand, whereas the idea of engaging in a more sincere way with a wider audience is a much more palatable line of action. So when you browse your LinkedIn feed and you look at what's happening on there and you go and look at the different aspects and, and tools and features, you have to be very clear and very specific about what you're actually trying to do. What are your goals for using social networks? Why are you using LinkedIn? What do you want to achieve? Chief, if you set goals and targets, um, you know, for me, I didn't just grow overnight to getting, say, well, I've got nearly 25,000 direct connections and about the same in followers. I had to implement a strategy. You know, we had to make sure that there was a purpose for using LinkedIn to dedicate time to it. Now, to be honest with you, I'm spending maybe 10 minutes a day on LinkedIn. Um, yes, there's a broader strategy here and there, and it will go up and down. But what I call my maintenance marketing, that is so important. Um, that's basically the 10 minutes I'm spending each day to maintain that position. Because, you know, it's crucial for me to be in that top 1%. You know, as a trainer and a speaker and an author, nobody wants um, uh, somebody who is, you know, in the top 10 million, you know, being number one for me is, is very, very important um, for my brand, but also for perception and also to keep abreast with what's happening. So you've got to think about um, what this takes for you and your business. So whether you're a business owner, you could be an employer or a leader, uh, you know, you need to think about how you're going to be using LinkedIn effectively. And how this applies globally to either your brand, your business, or to you as a thought leader, okay? So in the LinkedIn Masterclass, what we do is we share um, not only how to use LinkedIn, but most importantly, how to showcase yourself on the platform, how to actually get your profile to make it powerful so that it really, really proactively sells everything that's important to the person reading it, not just about what you do. But it also displays all the different tips about using it. This is about actioning um, your content, um, actually implementing a daily strategy, but actually recognizing results within a week. You know, the strategy that we teach guarantees that you not only double your audience, but double your engagement. It also looks at using LinkedIn's tools, how to really kind of grow your audience, how to reach that people, and how to get uh, people engaging in your content, how to get a thousand um, views each and every post, how to grow an audience that is so interactive and so engaged in your content, that you know, social media is, is a joy, it's easy for you, but it's actually having an impact on your business. It's generating leads. It's actually bringing uh, you know, proactive um, uh, opportunities to you. You're creating powerful partnerships. 
On the messaging side of things, how to communicate, how to connect with people and what sorts of messages to use. Um, we use a, a particular uh, strategy and tactic that means that we pretty much always get a reply to each and every message we send out there. Now, on LinkedIn, that's pretty much unheard of. Why? Because people's inbox get flooded with people trying to sell them. We do something a bit different to stand out from the crowd. We also look at utilizing the other um, aspects of LinkedIn. Benefits of paying membership, which ones are working, what opportunities are there, how to really kind of get the best uh, uh, for, you know, return on the investment of time that you're actually putting in there. How to utilize groups, how to get engagement and interactivity, how to get pull through from those people in the groups and grow your network how to reach an audience each and every day outside of your own connections. And also we'll be looking at some areas that are very, very important and pertinent at the moment, which is all about advertising, okay? We'll be looking at recruitment strategies, how to present the culture of your business and get a strong um, visibility so that you're attracting a consistently strong and valuable uh, talent into the business, business if that's what you obviously you're looking to do. But We'll look at all of these different solutions. And also, um, uh, one of the key strategies that we cover in the LinkedIn Masterclass is about the company page. Now, for me, um, there is a specific strategy that LinkedIn has always said to use and that I've always been passionate about bringing to people. And the, the, the fundamental challenges in business is I still see so many businesses pushing that company page uh, relentlessly only to find that it's the slowest slog ever and it's not actually generating results. But you know what? There is another way. And in the masterclass, we'll be covering short um, bite-sized videos. Each one will have actions and activities. You'll have a checklist uh, of things to do. And we will recap at the end of each video just to realign your focus. So I look forward to seeing you um, in the portal and join me on the LinkedIn Masterclass. And you can hopefully see your brand and business shine online and start reaping the results that we've managed to achieve just personally, but also as a business and a brand.